Welcome to Nunda Waken, your soul's unlimited potential. My name is Eva, and I'm so happy to have you here with me. And today's topic or discussion is something that I would love for you to reflect on at the end of the video. Go journal about it or meditate about it and just try to get some answers to it. And the question is, if you had the opportunity at this present moment to travel back in the past and change certain situations or experiences you've had in the past in order to come up with a different outcome for yourself presently, would you take that opportunity? Would you take the opportunity to go back in time and change all those circumstances that maybe ended up badly for you in the past? And I love this question because someone actually asked me this recently. And funny thing is, I realized that my view on this particular question has changed in a couple of years because in the previous years, one of my desires was to go back in the past and, you know, stop myself from making certain decisions that ended up being bad for me, you know, stop myself from meeting certain people that probably ended up hurting me in the future, right? In the future past, if you can relate with that. And I've come to realize that a lot of those painful moments, regardless of how bad they were, regardless of how painful they were, I realized that the me that came out of those painful situations is the me that I fell in love with, okay? I know during that process of the pain, you know, someone has hurt your feelings or you've embarrassed yourself in a certain way, it's very easy to get stuck in those moments and keep on relieving them over and over again and having regrets about them. But if at all, you can reflect on how you've grown from those situations. You know, like, for example, you had the worst possible breakup with someone who probably cheated on you or maybe was abusive to you. And maybe in the past, it's someone that you thought you'd never be able to survive without. And the person maybe ended up leaving you. That's a very painful experience. So maybe right now you might be wishing that, I could go back in the past and stop myself from meeting this person. You know, that's a logical desire. It makes sense, right? But if you reflect on who you've become based on that event, maybe right now you're more discerning to who you choose to give your time and your energy and your love to. Maybe right now you've actually learned how to set boundaries with people and not letting people cross certain lines with you. Maybe right now you've learned to be strong and resilient, a strength that you will never have known you had inside of you had you not gone through this, this painful experience. You know, because I look at painful experiences as an opportunity for us to grow and evolve. You know, for people who have the consciousness to realize that painful moments come with an opportunity to grow because not everyone has that kind of mindset. Most people will probably go to look at painful events as an opportunity to feel victimized and feel sorry for themselves and start blaming God or the people around them for all the pain that they're going through and not actually looking at how they can grow from those situations. And that's what I want you to reflect on, you know. As much as those painful those moments were super, super painful for you. I'd like you to just sit down and journal about what lesson you learned from each and every situation because there's a lesson you learned, okay? And for some people, you know, we might have to face the same kind of situations over and over again before we learn. For example, you will break up with a guy then end up attracting another guy who has the same character as the previous one because you didn't learn your lesson. And that will keep on happening until the point you start making different choices with regards to who you choose as a partner. Okay, so there's always a lesson learned in each and every moment. And that's how I want you to look at it right now. So just go sit down, reflect on all those painful moments you had in the past. What lessons did you learn from that? How can you do better going forward in case you've not learned your lessons right yet? How can you do better for yourself going forward? Okay, what new actions do you need to take starting from now in order to stop yourself from repeating past mistakes? This is something I always say um, in a couple of videos that I've posted, if you've been following me for a while, it's that you cannot change the past. Like it's impossible to go back 
even 10 minutes ago and change something that you might have said or done in the last 10 minutes, that's impossible. It's already done. It's gone. The only thing you have control over is what you're currently doing now and how you're going to show up for yourself in the future. That's the only thing that you have control of. And mostly focusing on the present moment because your present moment is what is creating your future. And that's how I want you to look at it. Dwelling or spending most of your time in the past, regretting your past mistakes and your past failures, it doesn't actually serve you. And the only thing it's actually doing is just you're going to keep on attracting the same situations over and over again because you're not learning from your past. Your past is just meant to be your reflection point of what not to do, how not to show up in the world if at all you made any mistakes. Or even your past is a reflection point to show you what actually worked in the past that is actually currently serving you. That's the only purpose for the past. But where your mind is, where your energy should be focused on is in the present moment and what I can do starting now to stop myself from repeating past mistakes. Okay, so let me know down below if you resonate with anything that I have said today. And I'll also love to know your answer to this question. If you had an opportunity to go back in the past and change those kind of experiences for yourself, would you actually take it? For me, I know the answer currently is no, because if I do that, then it means all the wisdom and all the knowledge that I have gathered in the past couple of years, all of it will be gone. I have no assurance that I'm going to be here doing what I'm doing right now, having found my purpose, having found my mission, if I actually go back in the past and change those painful events, because each and every moment pushed me or propelled me to become who I am today. And I don't want to lose that. And that's how I want you to look at it. If you don't want to lose the person that you become today, right, then your past is so essential for that because all of those experiences made you who you are today. That's how I want you to look at it. So share with me down below what your answer is to this question. And also, the kind of lessons that you learned in the past, I would love to know down below. And also share this message with anyone that might need to hear this. I love sharing my wisdom with as many people as possible. And once again, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to my channel and you like the kind of content I do share out, do subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification bell that's next to the subscribe button so that you might be getting alerts for each and every time I share out a post and you don't miss out on anything I share out. Okay, so if, if, you, call to, if you feel called to do that, do hit the subscribe button. And also... Just to end this video, like I always end my videos, to do a bit of introduction on who I am and what I do. My name is Eva. I'm an Akashic healer, and I also work with the quantum flow methodology. So Akashic healer is mostly, we get to determine what your soul blueprint is. You know, your soul blueprint is basically a combination of all your past choices, all your past, um, you're basically your soul story of your different lifetimes, right? and how they have influenced the kind of life that you're living right now. So with the Akashic healing that I do, which is called soul development, we get to determine what your soul story is and what you actually came to this planet or this current incarnation to do, right? The lessons that you came to learn for yourself in this current lifetime and how you can make better choices going forward. And the other thing is that you also get to discover how you were created by God, what divine gifts, you were given by God in order to help you with your current human experiences because when you live aligned to who you are at soul level, the better you're able to create the kind of experience that you want for yourself, okay? And most people out here are not living aligned to who they are at soul level because they've been so influenced with what society or their family tells them to be, you know, or maybe their own viewpoint on how they think they're going to be successful in the world but certain choices we're making are actually preventing us from having the kind of success that we want for ourselves because we're creating blocks in our souls. So with the soul realignment work, we actually clear these blocks for you, right? And help you determine the kind of choices that you need to make going forward so that you're not creating the same blocks over and over again. So if you resonate with that and you'd like to receive a soul realignment reading with me, do check out the description box down below. I always share my links. Or if you'd like to know more information about soul realignment work, 
do reach out to me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, whatever is comfortable for you. And I'll, have, I'll be happy to answer whatever questions you have for me. And once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope to see you in the next video. Sending you so much love. Bye for now. Bye.